walk like you're late for work. Walk like you're going to a sale. Walk like you ought to. Ah. Hello, run training, I don't remember four, half to the baseline, uh, this is my double, I already walked it to three in the morning, I walked a 3.5 mile course, 3.5 miles, I'm back this evening, uh, late last night, had Wendy's at Kirksville at 10 o'clock. Uh, waffle for breakfast. Spent quite a bit of time on the road. Took the transmission for the Astro project down to Curtis's. And went and picked up an escape. And hit, I don't know what time it is now, seven something. On Sunday, I wasn't gonna do anything, but I just felt like doing it. Uh, started out, walked 0.35 miles to a, a marker where I where I start running, and then I uh, did medium speed jogging for one full mile, and uh, now I'm on my cool down. Come off another tenth mile. Uh, the method. What is the method? Uh, basically, short version. You have three speeds. You have walking. That's what I'm doing now. Of course, it has various speeds also. Uh, you have somewhere in the middle. No, you have sprinting. Um, complete adrenaline rush, everything you got might cough up a lung. And then you've got a, a metal speed, something you can um, consistently uh, carry for a few minutes at a time. Okay, so I start with a walk warm up. Today I'm doing a mile steady state, mile of medium speed. It's about a 1250. It doesn't matter. None of these numbers matter. It's uh, how your legs feel and what have you. But uh, I'm getting ready to go for another another uh, tenth of a mile here at medium. So I'll be back right after that. Right. Three speeds. Walking, sprinting, somewhere in the middle. Okay. You start out with somewhere in the middle. After you walk, after I walk, uh, none of this is numbers based. Numbers don't matter, I just go how I feel. Uh, and what you do is you just uh, try to extend the speed of your middle speed, uh, the number of your sprints, and then minimize, minimize, little, reduce your number of walking segments. Uh, right now I'm doing a tenth of a mile. Uh, walking for cooling down and I'm doing tenth of a mile steady state uh, that's basically it on a side note if you don't know how to walk walking the same way you just have speed walking as hard as you can walk versus slower walking and then somewhere in the middle uh, you should get to the point where you could speed walk for, for whatever your target distance is. And uh, once you can speed walk for your target distance, then it's time for you to uh, take off running. Okay, let's come off another tenth mile. How do you regulate all this? How do you know when to go? Uh, how do you know when to rock or when to run? Anyway. Uh, Uh, 
three things your head what your mind's telling you can do your heart which is your actually your cardiovascular system not just how much he's got a lot of heart not that heart because that's up here and then you got your legs uh, I've had one day off of uh, three days in a row my legs feel like I got peanut butter running through the veins uh, so I'm going kind of easy letting them warm up um, pretty sure my head uh, I'm stubborn enough that I could probably in an emergency push myself to having a heart attack so that's where part of my head has to listen to my heart I've got to watch I can also feel it in my feel it in my head that it's time to time to tone it down so anyway um, slowed down and sped back up uh, mainly because of coming up to the hill and I like to be uh, I don't know I like to be on even numbers it's a thing so I'm gonna try to get a sprint in uh, this will probably be my my only sprint on erosion hill I don't know there's that one but uh, I'll see you at the top 2.3 from the beginning of uh we're gonna call it 3.5 where I shut uh, uh, where I shut my uh, watch off at just come up top of Rosen Hill uh, going by the campground I think some of the actual running footage has annoying people so I'm gonna reduce that the reason it's there is I want you to know the struggle's real uh, I don't have any water on me so I'm not dousing myself to break this sweat and uh, I don't know legs are starting to tell me to coast a bit so I might coast and then uh, see what I got across the dam and I'll give you a, a report Falling out. Not even a tenth. But I'll take it. And that grunt was for you, Brady. Alright. Just uh just came up half to hill. Uh For those of you that uh, uh, are confused about the walking speeds, here's a few examples. Walk like you know how, like you ought to, like you got some place to go, like you just clocked in, like you just clocked out, uh, like the fish are biting. Like you're lost in Walmart. Uh, like you're telling on someone. Uh, like you're going to the corner. Uh, I think that's about all I got. I got help on a few of those. Uh, if you have any other uh, walk like that uh, represents speed, feel free to feel free to drop them somewhere but uh, I'm coming up I think it's uh, quite interesting that just my normal walk and uh, 
a few steady states and two sprints one across the dam one up half to hill which is really an incline it's about 45 steps but takes everything out of me to make it there's a second tree that will actually stretch it to 50 steps so I'm looking forward to that but I'm coming right up on three mile total for looks like it's going to be 41 minutes so uh, three minutes slower than my baseline but I'm out of here thank you